William Whalen here for GetMoreSports.com and Rutgers. In hiring head coach Steve Peichel from Stony Brook has their future now set. But Peichel, his troubles are just beginning by taking over at Rutgers. First of all, this is a coach that has had a tremendous amount of success during his head coaching tenures. Uh, you look at the successes that he had at Stony Brook, how many 20-win seasons he had, uh, including the recent run. I, I believe it was five straight seasons or five and six uh, of 20 wins. Finally, a berth in the NCAA tournament. Uh, this is a guy who really continued to improve over his career at Stony Brook, winning just four games in his first year. Didn't reach double-digit wins until his third season uh, at, or, pardon me, his fourth season at Stony Brook. And yet he built it into a consistent winner, one of the best low major programs in the country, uh, constantly knocking on the door of the NCAA tournament. And they finally break through this year. He finds his, his success and parlays that into a job with Rutgers. Now, Rutgers is such a tough job. Number one, it's not because of its location. You're located in one of the most fertile recruiting grounds in the country. New Jersey produces so much top basketball talent, even in the absence of New York City. Uh, obviously, New York City has really fallen on hard times in terms of producing elite high school talent because so much of that high school talent has left to places like New Jersey. You've got a local recruiting ground. You have a little bit of history, sure. You can sell yourself as a Power 5 conference. You're not in great standing in the Big Ten which obviously hurts you. Uh, you're coming off one of the worst conference seasons a, a team has ever had in any sport of the Big Ten. Uh, but the biggest hurdle that you have to overcome at Rutgers is your administration. It's one of the most out of whack athletic departments in the country, constantly in the news for the wrong reasons. There's so much bad publicity surrounding this athletic department that you have to fight that image so hard on the recruiting trail. You have to fight that image when trying to build up your program on a national level with media members, with anybody else. There's so much work to be done at uh, Rutgers. It's one of the toughest rebuilding jobs that I see in the country right now. There are building blocks to success, namely with that recruiting ground, but Pykel really has a big, big hill to climb with Rutgers. Can he do it? Well, that's obviously the question and something that we're going to be paying very close attention to in the years to come.